Hey there, welcome back to the Garden of Eden Project. This is Vince Edwards, coordinator down here in Blanca, Colorado, trying to work it out so that people can have fresh strawberries and tomatoes and like green beans over here. And um, I got eggs and chickens, like 40 plus chickens, but uh, I, I don't take any money from the government. You know, I don't have a food card. I'm not, I'm, I'm not trying to, you know, I'm not, an, I'm not even an illegal alien, right? And uh, I know like the Helene victims really need the money real bad. And uh, just letting you know, it, it's, it's hard right now because, uh, and, and it just happened because I had like uh, two fines, boom, boom, uh, right in a row. And I haven't had nothing in like 10 years, uh, vehicle wise. And then I had two fines and it was like, boom, boom, in the course of three weeks. And it's like $700 worth of fines and I have to pay them. And so, you know, my normal overhead versus expenses is about $300 a month. And so to tack on 700, boom, on to $300 a month in expense, you know, I mean, you're trying to make $300 a month, not three times $300 a month. So uh, this is hard and I'm trying to do homesteading. I'm trying to do what humans should be doing. And it's hard because I'm, I'm like not getting enough support and I'm not, uh, probably I'm not crying enough about it. I should probably be crying more. Uh, I'm too much of a tough guy about it. Uh, but I'm telling you right now, I'm, I'm desperate for funds right now, hurting badly. So, um, I got to raise 700 bucks and, uh, you know, I know that's virtually impossible with the shadow banning on X that I'm getting. And, uh, you know, obviously, you know, I'm, it's amazing how X has disrupted all the other alt social media networks because all of them got off of there, went back to X, a lot of people, right. too. And so now, you know, you don't hear from hardly anybody on Gab, you know, I mean, it, the, the conglomeration of the conservative voices on X is something that's a little bit scary. And then, you know, nobody's, you know, I don't even want to get into that on this thing right here, but, you know, trying to raise awareness about like, what do we do as far as like exercising our right to assemble safely? And, and legally and lawfully, like we're sh supposed to be doing if they steal the election. But anyway, getting off getting off track here. I mean, I'm a full-spectrum patriot. Uh, that's all I do day in, day out, man. I wake up in the morning, try to figure out how to do this. And, and that's probably why I'm not, you know, focusing on money that much. You know, I'm just trying to get this growing and that growing and, and this bill and that bill and, you know, I know I got to focus more on getting funds to come in and not through donations, but, but, and, and I am working on that. Like we're working on fencing in the whole chicken yard. So I don't actually have to have, buy as much food, you know, that kind of thing. Um, you know, and it's, it's hard right now. So uh, I feel like I kind of just got hit by a hurricane, you know, with, with this $700, and I mean, $700 to me is like almost getting my friggin' house washed away. Cause it's like, oh my God, this can like ruin me. Like what, it, you know, make payment arrangements, trying to try and figure out a way to not go to jail. And, and then just, you know, having one of these, you know, they just uh, obviously don't, don't want to treat you right in those courts anyway, even if it's just a municipal thing and it's probably just a routine thing. But there's just that whole, that whole anxiety thing. It's like something to do with court, man. And it's been like 10 years since I dealt with anything with court. And, you know, I'm rusty and I, I went in there, tried to fight it. I sucked at it. Uh, you know, and, and a lot of these gurus, man, you, you try and, well, like, you know, you think after 10 years, you know, 10 years ago, you know, I fought them off of trying to take my property. You know what I'm saying? And you'd think that there'd be some gurus that have some sort of cookie cutter plan in order to figure out how to do this shit. You know, but uh, I, I talked to this one person. Uh, who is it? I almost, I kind of want to call her out actually, because it's uh, some kind of university. She's a lawful university or whatever. 
And uh, her profile is all about if you're in some sort of trouble like that, call me. You know, I'll we'll we'll get it taken care of. Oh, sure, I can help you. Boom, plugs the website. I'm like, how much does it cost? She's she's, and then I said, could we could we possibly talk for a few minutes? And then she's like, oh, sir, I can already tell you're lazy. You know, you don't want to do what. And it's like, hello, look around. You know. 20,000, I don't know, 2,000 fucking wheelbarrows full of dirt, 5,000, 5, 10,000, I don't fucking know, digging this thing out because I don't have the money for a backhoe, you know, because people don't want to support somebody else's thing. And, and it's too bad that so many people think that this is somebody else's thing, man, because I'm doing this for humanity, man. I'm trying to build a system where people can get along like-minded people can get along with each other and produce everything that we need to survive when the shelves empty out and we can just kick back and let, we got everything here, man. Is that something that you could kick in a few bucks to? I would appreciate it if, if you could help me out here. Uh, so the, I'm going to put the cash app in the description, but that is cash.app forward slash Patriot camp. You can also donate Bitcoin. All right, through the Cash App, I can uh, make that available if that's a thing. I mean, few people really mention that, so that's why I don't put it up. Uh, but uh, yeah, I need a little bit of help, and and also just your body, man. If you're like minded and you're a patriot, and you and you're you know like I th th I had somebody I thought that were there they were interested. Shout out to Adrian. I'm just gonna shout him out in this video. I thought you were legit, bro. I was like, holy crap, man, this guy's like, he's, you know what? Yeah, I went through all your content. I totally support everything you're doing. You know, I see what you're trying to do, blah, 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 right? And then uh, I went to go say something about Trump to him, right? And and it was actually kind of supporting his thing that all they're all the same. You know, that's his thing. They're all the same. And it was just something that Trump did. And I was like, yeah, I can see your point here. And I was about to tell him. Something about Trump because, but, but, but Trump came out of my mouth and he's like, oh, I don't want to hear it. And he cut me off. And I was like, dude, you can't do that, man. You can't cut somebody else off. That's just disrespectful. If you don't want to, if you don't want to hear what I'm saying, the only appropriate response would be like, oh, you know, I don't want to hear about Trump as you're walking away, walking away from me. You know what I'm saying? Or you just hang up the phone on me. Right. Don't don't try to shut me up and be like, hey, you know, this and that. When we deal together, you know, we're not the topic of Trump is not going to come up because this is a dude that wants to come live in my in my community, man. You're going to come live in my community and tell me that I can't talk about Trump. Hello. I got to call you on that. And then he's mad at me and he's like, yeah, I want to refund this and that. I'm like, no, you broke the contract, dude. You're clearly trying to infringe on my free speech, man. He's welcome to come here and live here and live under the contract. You're welcome to read it. You know, the contract is public. The property, you can't, you know, infringe on the property owner's friggin' rights. You know, and it's pretty clear that the property owner calls all the shots in the contract. You know, you're just along for the ride, man. And if you want to, you know, put in your, I've been doing this for 10 years trying to figure out, you know, how to, how to, how to create a system where we're, Wild stallions can be herded together, you know, because that's what we all are. We're patriots, right? But it's our independence, right? I have to figure out how to get, not break you, right? Because you don't do that to a wild stallion, but you have to figure out how to, you know, listen, just listen for five seconds. Can you just listen to me for five? No. Ah, ah. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But we got to figure out how to all work together, make things run, run efficiently. And if we just listen to each other, then things will run more efficiently. And we won't have to spend 40 hours a week doing it. We can do it in 10. That's my theory. You know? All right. So, uh, yeah, I think I poured my heart out enough, man, for nine minutes and uh, 32 seconds. So... Please donate. I, I need a, I need some help, man. Uh, this is like um, I'm firing the bat signal, as Alex Jones says, man. I'm hurting here. And uh, 
I've been doing this a long time, trying to figure out how to get people to get along. I feel like I almost got the secret formula all together, man. But I need patriots, man. I, I'm getting these people off of and I and Craigslist is dried up because everybody thinks Craigslist is a scam. I'm probably the only guy on there that isn't a scam. And uh, there's no places to advertise really online out here, way out in the middle of friggin' nowhere. You know, I guess I got to go to other places, figure out, you know, just go all over the country, just start having advertising wherever they're free. If you have any free classifieds, please, any free classified suggestions. If you listen this long and you don't have any money and, and, and you don't want to come join me here, right, 200 a month for 24 months. That's the current co uh, price. That's bargain basement. Bargain basement, you know, because I'm in a desperate way, man. You can get in on the ground floor, be somebody that, that ha that's helpful, that wants to be part of this, that isn't going to infringe on any of my rights, man. How hard is that, Adrian? Don't, don't try to infringe on my rights. Don't try to change what I'm going to say. Don't try to, don't try to come in here and, and change the, and force the narrative. Okay. Nobody's allowed to do that, man. You have to come in here and you can be heard and I can be heard and everybody can just be heard. And then they, the narrative forms. That's how it should happen, folks. I mean, that's that's what I'm looking for. All right, so I need help. SOS, SOS, either bodies or money or ideas, classified ads, ideas anywhere in the country that that's got really good free classifieds that got got great responses that I can advertise in that would really help because Craigslist is dead man I mean I've, I've used it for 10 12 you know 10 12 years all I get is uh, freeloaders that aren't patriots that's the big thing I've never had off of Craigslist never I can really claim that never never had a patriot there's so few patriots out there that's the other thing guys we're in our little patriot ghetto folks I I I, I pull people off Craigslist all the time. Boom, 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 boom. Never a patriot. I can claim. Come on out. Come on. Come on. Bring it. If you're a patriot that's come here off of Craigslist and let's have a friggin' debate about whether you're a patriot or not, please. Has there been one? I'm sure there hasn't. Okay. And so if they're not like-minded, then, then it's just that, you know, let's see how I can freeload. I'm not really into this. You know, I'm not really into feeding myself. <laughs> not really into survival you know surviving uh they will be man when the shit hits the fan they'll be man i'd kind of like to survive but that's when it's too late so uh god bless the patriots please support in any way shape or form help sos peace